How's it going? I'm your boy John from John Graham Show, and today I just basically just uh, checked out some gaming news today. Apparently, um, there's this thing going around for The Legend of Zelda, or at least for Nintendo. They're kind of doing this little uh, promotion for um, Legend of Zelda, which now uh, they're getting the people from Koei to make a little a little Legend of Zelda Dynasty Warriors game with a little bit of a skin on it. And some fans of it, they kind of... A lot of people, or at least like kind of what I'm getting the feeling from it, is that a lot of people really kind of don't take that as like... I mean, they're kind of taking it as a bad thing of like, yeah, man, um, you know, it's just going to be Dyn uh, it's Dynasty Warriors with the, Leg uh, with the Legend of Zelda skin on it. And technically, it's not a bad thing. I mean, hey, Dynasty Warriors is, is, is honestly an interesting concept, and really it's not all that different from how the Zelda games are now, aside from, aside from them being dungeon happy now, which really isn't a bad thing, give or take, with how Twilight Princess and how um, Sky, uh, Skyward Sword, Sword were, all the combat was basically the same as Dynasty Warriors, except for like a few buttons were different, and you had mostly your sub-weapons and everything, so really it's not that big of a deal. However, you know, kind of where man, my eye gripe comes into is when people kind of say like, yeah man, the game looks mediocre and it looks just like a Dynasty Warriors game. I'm like, Really, you can kind of say the same thing, man, about any Legend of Zelda game, which is like, you know, that, that, I mean, like, man, the same argument of like, well, well, now, yeah, man, it doesn't look all that great solely because it's made by the people, the people of Koi. I'm like, eh, it's not a bad game. I mean, like, it's supposed to just be like a fun tie-in spinoff game, which people can just pick up, play, and just run around without, how, with, uh, play a Zelda game without having to, like, deal with the dungeons and stuff. So, I'm like, hey, Okay. You know, kind of where, kind of where this game is possibly going to end up at, as it probably might be like one of those games which kind of like starts off all good and everybody's like, oh yeah, man, it's mediocre and it's not bad. But then, you know, I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm not necessarily a diehard Zelda fan because you know, eh, I could take it or leave it. In terms of the, of of uh, the news on it, it looks pretty okay. You know, as far as the Zelda game goes, that kind of really isn't sort of set up all about dun uh, dungeons and everything. So, yeah, in terms of that, it looks okay. It seems to have everything in place for a Zelda game. The only, the only question that I kind of have here, since that the working title for it is Hyrule Warriors, the kind of question that I have for it is necessarily like... um. Is is Link going 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 um, uh, be the only playable character in this, or will you have more? Will can you use Sheik? Can you use Ganondorf? Can you use um, any of the massive like sub characters throughout the uh, Zell uh, the world world in this game? Which, if you can, could that would be pretty interesting. So, eh, give or take with that, you know, you you uh, you could take it with uh, with a grain of salt. In uh, in the meantime, you guys, you let me know. Did you like this thing? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Please let me know. Please put it down there in the um, uh, description. And hey, uh, thank you for watching my channel. And hey, have uh, have a good one. All right, I'll see you guys later.